Hey, it's Rick and welcome back to my channel. If you follow my channel, you know from time to time I do product reviews. This is going to be a product review. This is on the monkey hook. I don't know if you've seen this before. Um, somebody brought this to my attention. We're hanging a lot of um, stuff in the uh, new modern farmhouse here. And I need something that's a little bit more substantial than just regular drop-in anchors. I imagine I'm not going to hit a stud from the area I'm going to need to hang uh, something right now. So I looked these up and um, I found these. There's a... Uh, 15 standard and 15 heavy duty. Uh, they're made by Ook and it is called the Amazing Monkey Hook. Now there's a bunch of them out there. They're getting knocked off by different companies. But I saw this one. It's called a drywall picture hanger. And these will actually handle 15 on this side. will handle 25 pounds. And this side over here, there's 15 also that will handle 50 pounds. Now I've actually seen them up to 100. I don't think I need 100, but I think the 25 is going to work fine for what we need. Uh, my wife bought some wrought iron uh, stuff from the resale store that she wants to put on the wall that's going to go with her decor. And I'm going to try this out. Now what it says is you just make a hole where the location is that you want to hang your item. You're going to have to figure out, you know, measure just like you would a picture or whatever where you want to hang and where your hanger is on the back of whatever it is you're hanging up. And you just push it straight in and it looks like you're going to turn it like 180 degrees and then you push the hook portion in a little bit further so what it does is it basically goes into the drywall like this and it has a hook so when you turn it it turns that hook up like this figure this is going through the drywall and then it holds on the back side of the drywall so that it won't come through on that hook I believe they're made out of um, stainless steel, but they're pretty stiff. Um, you might be able to do this with a piece of wire, but I don't know if you bend it just like this. Um, that looks like it might be like a 16th width, and overall length of the thing is roughly three and a half inches. Now the larger one, that's really stiff, almost like a coat hanger. Like I said, it's stainless though, and it doesn't have a lot of spring to it. Now, same length, three and a half, but it, this one's gonna come in just shy of maybe an eighth of an inch. Like I said, I'm gonna use this one, and this is the wrought iron piece that my wife has purchased. So you can see that. It'll, see, it'll show up a little bit better probably once I hang it. But it's like a candle holder, I guess. We went ahead and made some modification on there. It had pin wire in there that actually held it. Um, in place and we went ahead and, and cut those off and we're going to keep it rustic like that So hopefully I can show this um, without getting in the camera shot You can see it. You're going to start it down like this now I can feel some insulation on this so it's going to be interesting how this is going to work And then you push it in like this once you get so far you start turning your hook so that it goes up underneath And that's it so you start it in and then you turn it up. That's pretty stiff. So hopefully you saw how I did that. And that creates a little hook there in your wall like that. I'm pulling down on it pretty good so it's pretty stiff because now that hooks up behind the drywall up here. Okay, so here comes a real test. Let's see if how this works out. I'm going to say this weighs about maybe 20 pounds. So that's a good amount of weight on there. Now what I notice is sometimes you may have to pull that hook out a little bit, depending on what you got. I pulled the hook out a little bit because my hole that I drilled in there into the hanger wasn't going in enough. So pulled that out and I'm gonna push the hook right back in. And there you go. And if you can see that, it's hanging center of the wall just like we wanted it to. That's perfect, right where my wife wanted it. And I'm pulling down on that thing pretty hard and uh, it's not pulling down at all. Hopefully that's gonna hold up to what she wants. Now a quick tip that I do wanna point out that when you push this in, there is gonna be a quarter inch difference here. So you wanna add a quarter inch to your measurement and that'll give you your center. If you're as OCD as I am, um, that'll give you your exact center. If not, then you're just gonna be a quarter inch lower than what your original measurement was that you wanted. Another quick tip, this is supposed to go into the drywall and then you rotate it 180 which brings it up into the wall so in other words you go straight in then you turn it and then you turn it like this 180 now what happened with me is because we have uh, pretty well insulated walls i couldn't get it to spin in the insulation so instead i just poked it in and then worked it straight up till it went right behind the back of the wall and it held fine just a quick tip 
We even use the uh, more heavy duty hooks on uh, vanity mirrors for our uh, bathroom. And I put two of them on each one of those and that holds up uh, no problem at all. So it gives you an idea, really easy to put in. Hey, that's it. Hey, that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Please hit it. Please share with your family and friends. And over there on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you like our videos. And smash that bell icon. That'll notify you immediately of whatever videos we have coming out. There's a bunch of videos coming out on the Modern Farmhouse. Once again, everybody, please stay healthy and take care.